Welcome back. Now, right before the commercial, I said that our viewers at home will get a chance to win $1,000. What I meant to say is that you may win $1,000. Depends on how you play the game. So we'll be talking about that in a little bit. But we're back with Christine and John, and one of you will have a chance to go on to play for our jackpot, which is now starting out again at $60,000. So we have a new jackpot at $60,000. All right, before we play the round, we want to find out a little bit more about our contestants. Christine, your store is in Huntington. Mm -hmm. Your last name is also Huntington. Yes, it is. Is there a connection there? No. <laughs> no connection at all. Well, that's a, quite a coincidence. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your store. It's a 24-hour deli and convenience store located in the village of Huntington. Okay, great. And John, your store is in Brooklyn. Yes, we're, uh, we're located in uh, Crown Heights in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and we have a uh, wholesale and retail meat market. And we sell plenty of lotto tickets and oh, yeah. plenty of beef. Okay, <laughs> lotto tickets and beef, they go together. <laughs> All right, John, tonight you're playing for a New York Wired computer lab for PS335 in Brooklyn, which was selected at random from schools in your community. Now let's find out a little bit more about the New York Wired for Education initiative. This is the State Education Building in downtown Albany. Right next door to, to this Cathedral to Learning is sort of a, a more modern, high-tech version of the same thing, and that's the New York Wired Education Solutions Center. The Educational Solutions Center provides the opportunity for teachers and administrators to come and actually learn how to make practical application uh, of all these technological tools. This center was designed to give New York school districts a means to learn about state-of-the-art classroom technology. The governor was here two weeks ago and officially opened the center. And it was kind of neat that day you had students from a classroom in Albany that were here. Um, and through the internet and through video uh, conferencing, they were actually communicating and talking with students at the Museum of Natural History in Manhattan. And a teacher in Manhattan gave the Albany students a homework assignment on the rainforest. We're going to have the kids cut out just as they're doing in the room right now. And it was really amazing to see. I think uh, the governor was, was impressed, and everybody that was here was impressed. Well, this is, this is great. Thank you very much for, for being here. And I think that this place will have been a success if each of the teachers that participate here can go back to their districts and serve as ambassadors, if you will, uh, of the message that technology and the internet and computers are really the tools for the future for New York school kids. All right, this time we'll be taking an instant poll using the New Yorkers right here in our audience. The first to get to three points wins. Now, Christine, you won the toss of the coin during the break, so you have the advantage of starting first. All right, New Yorkers, I see you're all wired up out there. Are you ready? Okay, listen up. Here's your first question. If you could win one of these special vacations, which would you choose? A trip to the White House to meet the President or a trip to Hollywood to meet Harrison Ford? Vote now. We're recording the votes as they come in and we'll tabulate them once Christine chooses her answer. All right, the votes are in. Christine, did most of our audience say they'd rather take a trip to meet to the White House to meet the President or to Hollywood? To Hollywood. Okay. Well, let's see. Did the audience say trip to Hollywood? Oh, yeah! They'd like to see Harrison Ford. Well, they see President Clinton on TV all the time, I guess. So, Christine, you have our first point. Audience, get ready. Here's your next question. You're at the supermarket checkout stand, and the cashier gives you $10 more than the correct change. Would you say nothing and just keep it? Vote now. The votes are in, John. Did most of our audience tell us they keep an extra 10 given to them at the supermarket? No. No, they'd be honest and give it back, yes. you think? Well, let's find out. D did the audience say no? All right, here's your next question. As you know, if you don't set the clock on your VCR, it just keeps flashing 12 o'clock. So right now, is your VCR at home flashing 12 o'clock? Yes or no? Vote now. The 
Votes are in. Christine, what do you think? Are most of our audience members' VCRs flashing 12 o'clock right now at home? Yes. Did the audience say yes? No. Oh. They, uh, no, the, the VCRs are all set at their house, I guess. So, John, you get the point. You have two. Christine, with one. Still playing the game. Listen up out there, New Yorkers. Here's your next question. Is it okay for someone to date a person 20 years younger than themselves? Yes or no? Vote now. All right, John, what do you think? Did most of our audience feel, yeah, it's okay to date a person 20 years younger? Yes. You think so? All right, John, if you're right, you get the point, and you'll go on to play for the jackpot. If not, the point goes to Christine, and we'll still play the round. All right, let's find out if the audience said yes. They did! Congratulations, John. You're going to play for the new jackpot of $60,000. And the folks in Brooklyn and your lottery players up there in the red section are real happy about that right now. Hey, Christine, you played a great game. And just for being here, we're going to give you $5,000 to split between your people here in the gold section, as well as for James H. Boyd Elementary School in Huntington for a computer lab from New York Wired. So thanks for coming tonight. Great. All right, John, let's play Saratoga. All right, John, we're going off to the races in a game we call Saratoga. And you can see the horses are all ready at the mm -hmm. starting gate right here. Now, I want you to pick a horse from this board, and we'll see whether it has a red, yellow, or blue saddle with it. And then that colored horse will advance one step. If the red horse crosses first, you win $10,000. The yellow horse crosses the line first, $20,000. And if the blue horse finishes first, that wins you the big purse. And that's either worth $40,000 or the jackpot, which is currently worth $60,000, all right? So what we want to do is find out how much you're going to play for that big purse. And you see these three flags here? Behind one of the flags is the word jackpot. Now I want you to choose one of these flags, and we'll see how much the big purse the is worth. He wants the top flag? Mm -hmm. He already said he wants the top one. Okay, let's see what's behind the top flag. All right, it's $40,000. <laughs> That's great. That's a lot of money. So the big purse would be worth $40,000. Now let's get started and pick your first horse. Uh, five. Number five. Let's see, is it a blue saddle? It's a yellow saddle. So the yellow horse is now out of the starting gate. We are on our way. Pick another number. Uh, two. Number two. Let's see, is that a blue saddle? It's yellow. Oh, that yellow horse is taking the lead there. Come on, John, let's find a blue saddle. Uh, seven. Number seven. Lucky seven. Is it blue? Is it blue? It is. Yeah! Blue is out of the starting gate, John. Come on, let's find another blue saddle. Uh, ten. Number ten. Is number ten a blue saddle? It is red. So the red horse is out of the gates now. Come on, John, we gotta find blue. Uh, Pick twelve. Another. Number twelve. We're looking for blue. Is it a blue saddle? It is. Yeah! It's a blue saddle, John. Great job. The blue horse is check coming up from the rear. What number, number do you... four. Number four. We're looking for blue saddle. We hope it's gonna take the lead. The red horse is coming up from behind now. Come on, let's pick another number. Gotta find blue. Six. Six. Number six. He says number six. It's number six blue. It's red. So the red horse is one step away from crossing the line. What do you think uh, your section up there is saying? Number nine. Number nine. We are looking for a blue saddle with number nine. Is it blue? It's yellow. So now the yellow horse is one step away from $20,000. What do you number want? Number one. He says number one. Is number one a blue saddle? It is. Oh, John. They're neck and neck. Somebody's going to win here. What number eight. Lucky number eight. Is eight a blue saddle? Is number eight a blue saddle? It's it's Red Saddle. All right. Well, you didn't win the 40. You've won $10,000. And half of that money is on its way to PS335 in Brooklyn for New York Wired Computer Lab. So that's great. And that means the other 5000 will be split among the five New Yorkers right here in our audience in the red section. That's great. All right, Scott. Remind us how any of the folks at home can get on the show like the winners here today. 
It's easy. Just pick up your New York Wired instant ticket at your local retailer, scratch it off, and if you find a TV symbol, then send in your ticket for a chance to be on our show and win some cash prizes. And when we come back, we'll be playing our home interactive game where viewers at home may win $1,000 apiece. Not bad. Great job.